by Robert Cialdini will be discussed in this video. In the book, there are six types of persuasive appeals. Authority, scarcity, social proof, consistency and commitment, linking, and reciprocation. Imagine there's this person you want to Netflix and chill with. It doesn't matter whether it's a man or a woman. Throughout this video, we'll be considering persuasive appeals from the book Influence to turn switches on in that person's brain so that you can be categorized in different boxes in their brain before we go in for the kill and ask the person to Netflix and chill. Or they may even ask us. Keep in mind you're attacking the subconscious and this won't always work, of course, but it's very likely to work. Okay, first one. Authority. You must be fair in all your dealings with other people. Respect others and demand they respect you. Have a firm grasp on yourself and self-control. Always be neat, punctual, always ready for what's ahead. Never hungry, always prepared for anything. Even have nice things like a nice car, a nice place, or nice clothing. The two things you should know that is in the book, people tend to go along with those in uniforms who are in charge, those with titles like doctors and professors. And civilization functions by respect and authority. Next, second one, scarcity. And it never appears as if they don't comply with your offers or compliments, etc., that you won't be okay. Sometimes you may go horrible in the first impression, but once they see you're okay, they'll desire you. So make sure you try again at a later time. In short, just like a fisherman sets hooks and baits, you want to cast multiple rods for two reasons. One, to increase your chances of getting someone in Netflix and chill with. And two, let both fishes know that there's a chance that they can miss out on getting eaten, no pun intended, if the other fish gets caught first. Now in the book, it basically talks about how the less access we have to things, the more appealing it is to us. Especially when it was once offered to us, then something happens that prevents us from having it. And sales and stores take advantage of this by promoting products for a limited time. Third one. Social proof. Target the person you're trying to Netflix and chill with closest peers. Once they're in the same social setting, use the same tactics on them. With the only difference being that hint to them that you are secretly interested in the person you're trying to Netflix and chill with. In the book, it basically talks about how, in general, in uncertain situations, people tend to look to others to see what they should be doing, like emergency situations and with followers of a cult. And the fourth one, consistency and commitment. This is a hit or miss opportunity. While asking questions during normal socializing, try to see if a person identifies with specific traits such as being adventurous, love of sports, love of fine dining, love of cars. And the book, it basically says, you know, once a person thinks they're the type of person that does X, they will seek to reinforce that idea by doing more of X. Now the fifth one, linking. This is basically using all the tools you can to get them to like you. Here's what you want to do. Show interest and let them know that you like them. Ensure you know their likes and dislikes from conversation. Tell them I like you if all else fails. And people like those who like them. Regarding your body language around them, you want to improve your tone subtly, but enough so that it can be sensed, so that they know your mood improves when you are in their presence. Use the things they like to deliver good news to them. Let them associate you with positive things. Now, in the book, it basically, what it boils down to is that, for example, a car salesman, by complimenting you and offering you snacks or coffee, you're likely to like the car salesman, or anyone use those things on you, more than if you had, they had not done so. Okay, the sixth one, reciprocation. Now buy a ticket to a social or tourism place that the person would like and invite them there, or simple favors like bringing them in breakfast for them would also work. From reading a book, reciprocity is deeply rooted in our society, tit for tat, so in their brain they will feel as if they have a preference towards you with regards to their influence over them. The ball is in their court, when they repay that favor the ball will be back in your court, and this is the reason why men offer to buy a woman drinks. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.